What's up everybody? It's your boy Drone X Factor and to the, in today's video we're gonna be testing out the DJI Mavic Airs Tap to fly. Okay, let's go to the controller and the middle left tap that and then let's just hit tap to fly uh, As you can see there's a slider bar over here. That's you can slide that says uh, speed you can go all the way from uh, 17 roughly 17.9 miles an hour all the way to 2.2. Uh, I'm going to keep it on the lowest because the bank is right in front of me. There's nobody there and that's what I want to film. Uh, we're going to start with forward tap to fly. This white line along the middle just under where it says TD Bank, that's your horizon line. Now to the right, uh, that's where I want to fly. I want to show you with the forward tap to fly what it does. So we're still in forward tap to fly and I'm going to tap far away and high over here, right? And I'm going to hit go. Now with that, um, I can turn left and look at, look at the green arrow. It moves away. So that is weird. You have to be careful with that when you're yawing right and yawing left. Also, if you pull right and you pull left, the drone will drift right and drift left and it will throw everything off. Uh, the obstacle avoidance is working. I can see the drone going and going and going and going. Here it goes. It's turning, it's turning, it's turning, it's turning. Whoa, it's moving to the side to avoid the obstacle. And wow, that tap to fly option is fantastic. Also, you can go up as you're doing it while you yaw. It's like you have full control over the drone. You can, uh, you can even reverse. And if you hit reverse, it takes it completely out of tap to fly mode. Let's fly over this. Uh, right here and adjust our gimbal and see what happens. See, you can adjust your gimbal. It doesn't affect the tap to fly option in any way. The green circle is off of the, um, out of the picture, completely out of the frame, but it's still going along its course. So that's pretty good. Let's hit stop. That's basically the tap to fly forward option. Not going for anything too cinematic. I just want to do demonstrations, okay? Let's go into free. All right, let's come down a little bit more. Right, because we know the obstacle avoidance. Let's go to the same point, which is right here. I'll tap right here. Uh, matter of fact, if you leave it for a couple of seconds, it goes away. So when you when you pick your point, you have to tap it again to hit go. Let's go a little higher for safety because I just want to demonstrate something right here. Now let's hit go. While it's going now in the free version, look at that. It's actually going to adjust itself. It's going to turn. It's going to turn as it sees the object. And guess what? I can even rotate on my yaw. And guess what? It's still going to continue along. Look at that. It's still continuing along its trajectory. Look how close I am to this building, guys. And I'm not worried because it actually holds that trajectory to the point where I can completely turn around and watch the building while it's still holding its tap to fly trajectory. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. It's still on tap to fly, still going where I, I tapped it to fly, but I have free control over my gimbal. Can I go up? Absolutely, I can go up while it does that. It's still in the tap to fly, still going, and I have full control, I can go up. Can I go left and right? Absolutely, I can go left. Absolutely, I can go right while it's doing its tap to fly thing. Isn't that awesome? And we're gonna go backwards, tap, Center the object, we want to stay here somewhat. It remains at the same height, so this is kind of dangerous. I mean, you have rear uh, obstacle avoidance sensors, which is good, and uh, you can adjust the height. You have full control going right, you have full control going left, uh, which doesn't really affect it much still going backwards is it staying on its trajectory no backs up in whatever direction you're pointed at and that's totally weird not a big fan of the tap to fly option going backwards tap to fly this is the speed bar as usual full speed ahead let's go with coordinate whatever height you set it to it remains at that height i'm just going to touch somewhere on the screen i don't know if to touch high let's see if i touch high it says it's not a valid zone so you have to touch somewhere within that grid and I'm assuming that the grid points to somewhere on the ground. So I'm going to touch somewhere in the grid. Hopefully that's somewhere on the ground. We're on the grid over there. Tap go. Let's see what happens. The height remains 127. 
I'm not sure why it's twisting and turning. It seemed to have lost its direction there for a second. Either which way it's going, don't know what that was about. It's supposed to go to that specific point and then when it reaches that point, it's supposed to stop there and just wait. Can I touch somewhere else and change coordinates now that I'm closer? Yes, let's, let's touch over there and see what happens. I don't wanna go too far. And let's see what happens. It looks like it's coming to that coordinate. It stops, so if coordinate reach, you get a sign that says coordinate reach. I guess if I look down, uh, that's where I had tap. So it looks like it's working. I personally prefer the free tap fly. The only thing you need to watch out for in that mode is that the obstacle avoidance does not work. So I do like it, but I would only recommend the free mode to people who are experienced because I don't want you to crash your drone if there's no obstacle avoidance and then you're yawing left, yawing right, and you yaw into a tree or a building or something. Uh, go ahead and do the forward one because that works with the obstacle avoidance. Uh, fly between stuff. It's actually pretty accurate and fun. So I do recommend the forward the back one I don't really like it because it's kind of like a selfie, but I feel like I could just do a selfie You know what I mean and the coordinates I really don't get that one you like you punch on the screen, but you don't exactly know where it's going so Can't really recommend that one either with that being said make sure you follow me on Facebook follow me on Instagram at drone X factor four videos left guys four videos left so i definitely want to put my hands on something new new drone and do reviews just like i'm doing right now hopefully a lot faster and definitely give those away too so do head to patreon and show some support show some love and help me so i can give more stuff away this is your boy drone x factor thank you for watching guys don't forget to hit that like subscribe button as usual i've got to be editing this video